bum 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 and then maybe after this we'll look at doing alexa's alexa's level 30 now right yeah maybe we'll give alexa a scale and look at doing her uh oh we got two side quests here nice look at doing her um and it's robert right out the gate i'm so good at video games look at doing alexa's affinity mission is what i was trying to say let's get these side quests first this is the Robert one, underway. My men headed out for Noxalum by truck, but I've lost contact with them. They were part of a special team for this mission, along with an Orphean. I left everything to him, and now... God oh, dang it! <laughs> what? They have an Orphean expert in Noxalum with them. This was our first time trying a mission like it, so we were extra careful in our preparation. What the heck could have happened? Maybe they went off the frontier nav grid. To make matters worse, this was Anna's first field mission. Ah, uh, she's our team rookie. But the other blades with her are old veterans, so I'll just have to hold out faith and be patient. God, forget it, I'm no good at being patient. I feel that. Apologies for the interruption. Are you a friend of Cantonom? Cantonom and I split from the same parent body. In your human terms, he would be my brother. By my estimation, Cantonom and the others were forced to flee from primordial creatures. They are presently in hiding and unable to move. The Orph have a special smoke signal for use in such emergency situations. The chances that Cantonom will use said smoke are 98%. It should then be possible for you to locate him using that signal. However, any such rescue operation would require the added mobility offered by a blade escort. How in the heck do you know? You know what? Don't matter. I'll do whatever it takes to get him back. Maybe you'd lend a hand solo. I'm on it, dude. Lone survivors. You have my thanks as well. You got it. Still, I think a smoke signal like that would have been spotted already, but I've gotten no reports. It is a signal intended only for friendly eyes and visible to all but the Orph. You will require a pair of goggles we wear. Please take these. Okay. They should allow you to see the smoke without problem. All right. Thanks. This gives us some hope, at least. Good luck in your search. I'm on it, dude. I got this. Summoning goggles. And then what's this side quest over here, huh? What are you doing? What a pickle, huh? This device seems fairly advanced, doesn't it? It's all a bit over my head. Uh, hello, you there? Is there any chance you're familiar with the workings of Zaru Bagan technology? Oh, is this one of the backpacks they usually wear? Looks like it. If so, maybe you could teach me. Yeah, just hit it. Oh my, if you don't mind me saying so, that seems a bit uncivilized, perhaps. Always works. Not to offend, but that sort of simplistic lazy thinking is one human trait I simply can't come to love. That didn't offend, did it? For starters, this backpack pays, uh, pays, plays a crucial role in filtering the volts that the Zarubagan need to live, okay? If I were to strike it and something were to break, it would, could be a terrible tragedy. It could even cost me my life, so no, I'd prefer to stick with less violent methods myself, too. I might be able to make do with an all-purpose plug, maybe. Perhaps that's where you can come in. Could I convince you to find one for me? My friend's life hangs in the balance on this repair job, you see. Or it very well might, at any rate. So will you help fix his backpack? Pack it in. Get an all-purpose plug from a guide owl, Galder, or others in Noctilum. Reward tickets. This is one of the last few Chapter 9 quests. Except. Uh, no. I'm counting on you, okay? And while you're hunting for parts, I'll keep analyzing the backpack's, uh, backpack's design, alright? I'll have this thing picked apart and understood and won't rest until it's repaired. That sounds good, doesn't it? Alright, so we can just go get reward tickets for that. Do I have Meranium yet? I do. Nice. I was about to say. It's been a hot minute. We should have some Meranium by now. Let's go drop this in the AMs. We don't need Scale Fuel right now. And let's put a Scale on Alexa. And honestly, let's do Alexa's Affinity Mission. I think it's level 36. I'm level 40. Alexa is level 30. And we both will have good Scales. So it should be fun. Should be doable. Even with this team comp. And then before too much longer, we might look at putting Elma and Lynn back in the team and doing that prospective partner's affinity mission, which I think is right in here. That's two peas in a pod. Up here? Yeah, prospective partners. And we get one extra team member. We can definitely do that. Bum, bum. We can do this whenever we want, because I think we've done manhunt. 
just need Elma and Lynn. So we'll, whenever we do prospective partners, we'll do this mission right after. Why did I run in here instead of... Or did I fast travel here by mistake? I need to go to Armory Alley. What am I doing? I got caught up thinking about like, oh, I want to see what I need for the main mission and prospective partners and all. K-pop, what's up? Wolf Paladin, did I say hello to you? Hello, Wolf Paladin. Again, or for the first time. I don't remember. Hey. Got a lot of focus going on here today. Factory 1.21, a privately owned arms manufacturer known for the unique aesthetics and singular craftsmanship of its custom-made products. It has quickly built up a cult following of supporters. I'm worried that one of the AMs I'm- the last AM I'm missing is like smack dab in the middle, basically. That I like missed it somehow, but... I don't know, I'm not gonna worry about it. Let's max out Orphean Tech. Yeah, they only need 9,441. There we go, level 5. We are not averse to Meranium, thank you. Yes, that is an app verbalization of our feelings. Alright, and then I'm gonna dump everything we currently have into Factory 1.21. Which got it straight to level 3. Not bad. Level 3 already needing 90,000. Okay. Alright, alright. This is going to be pretty expensive then. Rare and valuable gravity attribute products known for attention to detail in both form and function. Okay. Alright. And the CEO is Professor B. What a shock. Granada and Sakuraba still need more Meranium 2. But... Oh, we're gonna sit in my throat. We're getting pretty close to, uh... Getting pretty close to, uh, being done with the AMs, which is pretty cash money. Okay, oh, Pop, you got one of those gifted subs earlier? Nice, nice. Big thank- big thanks to Hunter Renz for that. See, I'm gonna keep focus on Professor B's thing here to get him up to five as fast as I can, but I'll probably start putting at least a little bit of Meranium into Granada and Sakuraba here and there. We're very close to having all of them at level 5. We'd probably be like 3 or 4 Meranium passes away from having them all at level 5 if we hadn't just gotten Professor B's, but I'm glad we got Professor B's because I need to be able to start putting Meranium into it. Alright, search for Con... Lanam and Noctilum by following the smoke. There are three different locations it's telling me to go to in Noctilum. Let's go get this done. Just got home from watching the new Thor. Nice. I hear that it's kind of like... Alright. <laughs> I've been hearing a lot of people being like, Oh, it wasn't bad, but it like should have been better. I'm not really planning on going and seeing it myself, so... Whoops. Go, 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 go. Go fast. Ah, oh, Cascade Isle. This is a unique viewpoint, huh? Okay. Neat. The Cascade Isle view. This is the smoke signal. It's very purple. I respect that. Do I need to interact with this? Maybe this is the wrong one? Did you just call that monster belligerent? Maybe I need to do them in a specific order or something. What about this one here? Oh, he's at this one. Okay, I just needed to find the right one. I understand. Hello. You're a human, yes? How did you find this place? I got these goggles. You followed the smoke, but how? This smoke should only be visible to Orpheans. Just who or what are you? I am an avatar of justice sent by Yinatanam. I cannot parse that as a course of action Yinatanam would take. But that does match Anna's account precisely. She said that a warrior for justice would come to our rescue. I continued to send up smoke while fleeing from primordial creatures. My OVA informed me that being proactive was the optimal course of action. But the human is atop that large tree. You must hurry and help. Oh, hey there. Oh dear, it appears your sense has lured a primordial creature. I must humbly request that you defeat the beast. I will hide with the human survivor up in the tree. I'm on it. Prepare to get incendiary edged, you stupid idiot. Oh, level 30. Easy peasy. Soul voice, absolutely. The more affinity, the better. 
Ow. I need morale for more TP. Almost, almost, almost. Oh, I was almost full. All right. Now, do I need to go up on the tree? Seabound coil tree. Up we go. You got to be up around here somewhere. Can you get a big enough sword? I mean, the sword I got on my skeleton right now is pretty dang big. I'd consider that one pretty sufficient, personally. Should be right around here. Around this corner. There you are. Hi there, guys. I almost fell off right there. That would have been annoying. I like the pink and black of this chick's outfit. I am pleased that you are a safe, brave human, and I deduce that the primordial creature is gone. Indeed it is, brother. I see. That is a great help. It is safe now, Anna. We should be able to return to NLA. We're actually saved. Aw, oh, man. Thank you so much. I'm glad you're all right. My friends sacrificed themselves to keep me safe. If Cantonam had also been eaten, I just don't know what I would have done. This is all my fault, you see. Maintaining the truck was my job, but I got lazy and blew it off. Wow, you should probably be fired. If Xenoblade X has taught us anything, it's that bigger is better. You can always get a bigger sword. That's a fair statement. We managed to abandon the vehicle and successfully flee into the woods, but the chances of us escaping Noxalum by ourselves were vanishingly small. So we took a course of action that at least offered some chance of survival and awaited help. Now let us depart. No good comes of lingering here. We need to get on into the city before exhaustion claims her. I'm also curious to learn more of this long, hot soak she so fervently desires. Uh, yeah. See, I was sure we were going to die, so I kept saying I just wanted one last bath. Anyway, thank you all again so much. Kantanam and I will head back to NLA now. Easy. All right, hopefully all we have to do is go turn this into Robert, and then this side quest is checked off the list. That would be pretty pog. Be pretty pog indeed. Yeah, we're a little over two and a half hours. I'm pretty satisfied with the amount of progress we've made so far. Hopefully I can just keep with it. Hey, thanks. Kansanom's back and he brought Anna with him. Thought we lost a couple though we lost a couple of experienced blades in the process. Still, we are very thankful to Kansanom for keeping Anna safe. And to you for going to help them, of course. Oh, and to Yintanom for that hint about the smoke. Easy, lone survivors. That mission is done. That's another chapter 8-1 finished. We or fact is our over over bids us. It is simply a coincidence that our actions also improve the human's odds for survival. I uh I see. You or for certainly a logical group. Still it saved Anna's life, and I'm thankful for it. I am pleased that everything concluded well, and I offer you thanks for assisting Kansanom. Alright, easy segment recon, let's go. Now let's wrap up this other I didn't mean to click affinity chart, but I'm gonna look at Fry's affinity again anyway. He is getting close to three. He's almost there. Let's get this uh, Spark a Smile side quest done. What was Packet in? Oh, right, right, right. I can reward ticket that. Gotta get more Blood Lobsters. Back to the commercial district. And hopefully, all we need to do is turn this one in and it'll be done too. That'll be another one off the list. I'm also looking... After we finish Sparking a Smile, there will only be four Chapter 8 side quests left. The Root of All Evil, which is the one where we have to make 70,000 off of Frontier Nab Revenue, which I have no idea how we're going to do unless I get more research probes. There's another side quest after that called Entrepreneurial Spirit, but we have to do the Root of All Evil first, so we can't do that one right now. Also, it says it's recommended level 50, so I wouldn't want to do it anyway. Uh, the gold membership, which needs us to have Mira 50% surveyed, which I don't think we do. What's my Mira survey rate at? We've been getting survey rate today. 42.39%. So we'll just have to wait until we get to 50%, so we won't be able to do that. And then it's the Blitzkrieg Affinity mission, which is the Fry and Fog at level 3 affinity. So all of, basically what I'm saying is all of those will take us a while to get to. 
Oh, ho, ho. Thank you for bringing Popote, friend. Just look at them. Meh, meh. Grampy Pawn, hurry and fix Popote dinner already. Also, watching Grampy Pawn sleep is boring. Be more fun. Of all the nerve, just what did Popote come here for anyway? See, Elder Non already more full of energy now that Grandson Pawn is visiting. And once fireworks go up, Elder Non can die with no regret. Friend did get contracts, yes. I did. Meh, perfect. All look good and legally binding. No pawn terrible at keeping promises, but contracts absolute. This take care of everything. Now go, go take Elder Non to spot with good view. Friend should meet us in front of Blade Tower. All right, up to Blade Tower it is. Let's go. Alley -oop. We're going to get Noggy in the team soon, by the way. After I'm done getting Affinity on these three and I switch them out, I want Fog, L, and Noggy are probably the next three that I'm like, we need to start getting Affinity up on them through missions. It's not too much longer and we can finally do L's uh, level 38 Affinity mission, but we need Affinity on them. Woo! It was real hassle dragging Elder Non all the way out here. Somehow Elder Non too sick and frail to move, but still has energy for massive tantrum. Quiet! Nobody going to send up fireworks for old Non. It fine, Non will just disappear here alone. Right, human friend. No pun in each caravan not care about Non at all, do they? Did they? Words. Everyone loves you, dude. Probably, maybe, I don't know. Meh, save your lies. Non knows no one has a use for him anymore. Almost time, when we see proof that everyone still cares, at least somewhat. It's raining, they're not gonna be able to send up fireworks effectively. Cough hack, huh? Popote hungry again, Grampy Pond, got any food? This is very important moment for Non, shut your trap for five minutes. But Popote not care about fireworks at all, Popote only care for food. The snow pond sucks. Oh, oh, oh. oh, there they go. Look at that. That, ah. See, none of them left because they not like Non anymore. But they did leave Non. No, they were right. No pawn are traveling people. Journey is in blood of all no pawn. Non was fooled to forget something so basic. Also to talk nonsense about wanting to disappear. Other no pawn are out there in dangerous lands working hard to make business flourish. Enough monologuing, Grampy Pawn. Food! Fireworks not fill empty belly. Gah, hush up! Plot of Nagogo worked like charm. Now that Non cheered up, Nagogo won't have to listen to annoying complaints. Thank you, friend. Here is payment as agreed upon. That was a neat side quest. I like that one. The fireworks is... Oh, it's an achievement even getting the fireworks. That's neat. I like that. I like that one. Sparking a smile is done. Segment recon complete. Let's go do Alexa's affinity mission. I also want to do Hope's affinity mission. We will get to that soon, and then we'll unlock Hope as a uh, character because we don't have her yet. All right, Alexa's is called What the Skell in the Industrial District Outfitter's Test Hangar. I think it's right outside of the test hangar. Oh, before we do that, though, let's turn in... Let's get the packet in thing. Because we just need to get this all-purpose plug, and that's over in the Industrial District, too. And I need to go into the Blade Barracks anyway to give Alexa a skell for this, because it's a level 36 mission, so she's going to need a skell. Alright, skell for Alexa real quick. And then reward ticket for that item we need. Take this off of Bose and register it to Alexa. There you go. Let's get this all-purpose plug. Should be easy to find because it should be up at the top with the A's. There it is, and it's cheap as well. You love to see it. So let's try and get this side quest done, and then we'll do Alexa's affinity mission, and we're probably just going to do a lot of affinity missions back-to-back -back here, to be honest. We might be able to do 
I almost called her Huntress instead of Murderous. We might be able to do Murderous's affinity mission too, because I think it only needs two affinity on her. But I also think that's a level 39 mission. I want to say. I think. 